Hello, everyone. No. Unfortunately, we are not Kiroi and don't sing a song. Kiroi was not here, but we would like to say a heartily. We are very happy to talk at the weekend again and to say talks. Thank you to give us a chance. Thank you. Thank you. The topic of this session is robots. And there are many robots around the world life. Now we can buy giant robot on Amazon Japan. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, some robots drive bicycle. This is Yamaha's robot called Motobot. Motobot says there are probably some things in this world that only I can do. Uh, this is Motobot uh, by Yamaha. And uh, Motobot drive a bicycle, and bicycle is not modified. Oh, like this. Okay, uh, and, and some robots are like smart home uh, with projector. <laughs> and let's, let's introduce ourselves. My name is Yuriya Yamane. And my name is Masayoshi Takahashi. And she, our cat is our mascot. Unfortunately, he cannot travel by air, so he said, he stays at home during this conference. We team Yamaneko have developed MLB applications and developed tools for MLB just for fun. We will show you two types of robots. The first one is Lego Mindstorm EV3. In this session, we would like to talk about self-balancing robot. Do you know self-balancing self robot? It's also called invertent pendulum. Self-balancing robot has a mass locket, located about its pivot, uh, pivot point. This case, the robot to be uh, unstable. So it used as some demonstration of control, control theory. In this session, we'll make a self-balancing robot in Ruby. Do you know the machine? Yes, it's a Segway. Segway is one kind of self-balancing machine. I've ridden Segway in Fukuyama University in Hiroshima Prefecture. Hiroshima Prefecture is right next to Shimane Prefecture, much home. This area is called Chushi Chugok and Shikoku area. Our short name is to, to, to Shikoku area. At that time, I have been in Fukuyama, Fukuyama University as one of the staff for the Chu Shikoku Regional Com Compensation of the Embedded Technology Robot Contest, or ET Robot Contest. Official name of ET Robot Robocon is Embedded Technology Robot Contest. The contest is a, to develop the advanced skills of embedded technology, such as modeling, designing, and development embedded systems. ET Robocon is one make racing style contest. All robots have the same design hardware. In this contest, we use two styles of robots. The robot we introduce here is called EV3 Way. It has two ways to move. Gyro sensor to balance. Light sensor to trace black line on the ground. EV3 Way support official three languages, C or C++, C Sharp, and Java. And from this year, we can use MRuby with EV3 way. So we made a 
MRBGEM, MRB EV3RT, to use MRB on EV3RT. We can get the code from GitHub. Unfortunately, we cannot bring the EV3, so please watch this movie. So, The movie is taken on regional competition in Chushikoku area of Iti Robot Contest this year. The red light under the robot is an infrared sensor to trace the black line. A light sensor will the robot reads the course and turn right or left along the line. Robot turned the course uh, along a uh, black line, stretching lines. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. We are going to explain how EV3 way works. At first, we introduce it OS EV3RT. EV3RT is one of the articles developed in the Topaz project. Topaz is an acronym for Toyohashi Open Platform for Embedded Real-Time Systems. Toyohashi is a city located in Japan, and the name was selected based on Based on project leader Professor Takada's association with Toyohashi University of Technology when the project was started. And the image light, sorry, the, the image light of this slide is the mascot character of Topaz, called Topame chan. Topame means swallow and Topaz. This is a Topaz site in English. You can read about Topaz project in detail. Topaz kernel is one of the most popular artists in Japan. Many companies use its product. These images are products that used Topaz recently. For example, Korg synthesizer, Casio digital piano, printer by Rico, Hybrid car by Nissan. Even rockets use Topaz OS. These are just a few of Topaz users. <laughs> Topaz project have released many art scanners. You can choose target board and kernel type and drivers for driver, drivers for devices. You want to use like choosing, choosing MRB gems. In this case, these are already, already EVCRT kernels and drivers, we use them. But using this, I found some bugs in EVCRT when using MRB on it. So I made several bug reports to Topaz, Topaz developers by these contributions, I become a member of Topaz project. It's like Ruby Committer team. Um, EV3 RT, Topaz uh, Altos kernel for EV3 is based uh, HRP2 kernel. Uh, EV3 RT has uh, privileged mode and unprivileged mode. Unprivileged mode support memory protection like general purpose OS, like Unix. But EV3RT is not POSIX. It used new lib API, so you can use some standard C API, but it's limited, such as file system and standard IO. And 
It does not have Podix API, such as process, processes and signals. So you cannot use the MRI in EBCRT. But we have another Ruby, uh, MRuby. By the way, there is a breaking news. Uh, MRuby 1.2.0 is released today. <laughs> Thanks for the math and the MLB forum. Thank you very much. And the current MLB was a, a current MLB, so a 1.2.0. In, in the open source world, MLB is used in server side applications. And NTX MLB is a module to use MLB in NJX. H2O is a very first HTTP2 web server with built-in MRuby engine. Uh, you can write H2O configuration using Ruby. Uh, on the client side, you may know MRuby CLI to make cross-platform CLI binaries written in Ruby. Uh, on the other hand, MRuby application or a tool for embedded systems are not so popular. I had some companies try to use MRuby, so it may be opened in the near future. Anyway, in 2015, MRuby for ABC Reality is a good example application for using MRuby in embedded systems, I think. And before we see MRuby ABC Reality program, we explain briefly inverted pendulum. As we say, inverted pendulum is unstable. It falls down right or left if you give no power to the wheels. When it falls to the light, we must give a power to the wheel to move light. Then it stands vertically and keep balance for a few moments. When it falls to the left, we must give power to the wheel to move left. By repeating more and more, it keeps a balance. Robots are built with several parts. The main components are the target board, sensors, and uh, actuators. EV3 has some sensors, such as gyro sensors, ultrasonic sensors, and light sensors. In addition, EV3 Way has two motors, uh, right and left. We can read the sensor's value from the target board. Based on the value, it moves the actuator and the robot moves. The robot does three things, and sensing, calculating, and controlling. The robot moves by repeating this process over and over. Uh, we should talk about uh, Altos here. Uh, Altos means real-time operating system. Altos is an operating system for real-time system. The keyword of real-time system are deadline. Real-time system makes much, more, much, much of deadline. I should say that real-time has uh, several meanings. You might know about such as real-time web, uh, but real-time in Altos is a completely different word, different word from it. Altos uses tasks as execution unit to keep deadlines. Every task has its own pro priority. Low priority tasks never execute when high priority tasks are arrived. When a high priority task is running, low priority tasks are not running uh, into ready status. We use these three tasks in these programs. The most important, part, most, most important task is balancing. Uh, balancing. Uh, it's four microsecond cycles. Uh, so, we set the balance task as the most important task. Each task is written in Ruby. This is a part of the Ruby code for balancing. The code reads the brightness of the light from the sensor. The larger the value, the more white the light is. PWM left and PWM right is the amount of power to give each motor. This process is repeated infinitely. It were, it, it's watch.rb. This code watch uh, for the button to be pressed. 
This is main tasks. Uh, this task activates and starts the other tasks, then sleep. Uh, when you design real-time system, the most important thing is the task is finished in a given time. Uh, in other words, a in other words, a task, task, in other words, task has uh, deadlines. Uh, and high, high priority tasks should uh, uh, execution, uh, <laughs> sorry, uh, uh, like tasks, alarm an important factor of Altos. Altos has alarms. Alarm is the things that periodically execution each task. Uh, this system uses two alarms. Uh, one is balancer, hand, balancer handler, and uh, one is uh, watch handler. Balance task and watch task is higher priority than main tasks, uh, but balance task is more higher than watch task. So if balance is in ready status, watch task never executed even if watch task is in ready status. So balance task must be executed uh, periodically. Uh, MLB EBS Reality has uh, these classes. Uh, for more information, uh, please check at GitHub. Part two, DIY self-barraging robot. EBC is not so popular among Rubyists, and EBC is a bit black box for us. Can we make our own robot from scratch? It's not easy indeed. We had many troubles making it, but it is not impossible. You can do like us. Fortunately, there are many, many examples on the web. We use hardware similar to this URL site, but we use some original parts. Now let's design and implement our robot. As we show, building a robot needs three pieces of hardware. Target board, sensor, and motors like EVC. We use A plus is lower bat battery using than B plus and B by two. So it works with a small battery and it's cheaper than B+. But using this way just an accident. When we started to make this DI robot, we used a Raspberry Pi B we already, ha we already had. But one day, it broke. We should go new board. Then we bought new A+. If you see on Raspberry Pi, use ARM microcontroller, but different sheets. And different target boards have different functions. So we should not share our alto code. So we use Raspberry Pi as bare metal without OS. If you want to make robot complex, complex tasks, Bare metal is too hard, but just self balancing you can do it without OS. Now, we talk about the main parts of our invented pendulum. First, we should measure the uh, angle of the robot. So we need a gyro sensor. We choose LCGD20. It's three ASIC digital gyroscope. We use it as DRP module by Akizuki Denshi, but it's okay to use Adafruit or other maker's module. When we use it as fast, we cannot get the correct value we expect. When we get another one and use it, it works. And fortunately, the first one seemed to be broken. To take, check this, 
we take much of log files and plot graph. In addition, when we use it as a demonstration before the becomes, suddenly it doesn't work and the robot cannot stand. We saw, so we get two other gyro sensor. One is a spare. We hope it works this session. Anyway, robot runs forward, forward, and backward. We put the gyro sensor to measure angle with axis Y. It's the sensor on the center of the breadboard. Left one is serial converter for logging. After major angle, we need to rotate wheels. We use DC motor from Tamiya. DC motor is very simple. You can charge the speed with voltage. But Raspberry Pi doesn't have analog I.O. It's only 3.3 volt. So we use PWM. We will talk about PWM later. But our motor was not accepted exception. Motor are soldered, but the connector was turned off. Finally, we bought other set of motors as spare. We sold the motor and cable, cable and jumper wire. So we can connect the breadboard to the motor. Our motor doesn't connect to wheels. Rotation of the motor is too fast, so we use gearbox by Tamiya. These parts are in the box. These are the wheels, right one and left one. This is a body. The motors and the other parts are mounted on the plate. This photo is a wheel, gearbox and motors. This picture shows the free assembled, gear assembled gearbox with wheels. To use motor, we need batteries. Motor consumes vast amounts of power, so we bought rechargeable battery, Panasonic Enelup. Yes, as you expect, batteries also had been broken. Exactly, but the case has been broken. I'm not sure, but one day, but it was heated, was too hot to touch, and the case has melted. <laughs> we cannot believe it. To stabilize the power, we need another battery for the Raspberry Pi. We bought this one. It can use two AA batteries. We'll use it for iPhone after the beacon. And luckily, this battery has not broken yet. <laughs> then, the sensor is one of the front side. Battery for, mo for motor is back side. That's very by use SD card as a bootable device. So we copy MLB binary into SD card. After building device parts, driving parts, now we build electronic parts. We connect sensor and motor to the Raspberry Pi. How we connect a sensor to the Raspberry Pi? There are two popular protocols. SPI and I2C. The gyro sensor, we use support both protocol. We use SPI because it's faster than I2C. SPI are a bit complex to implement, but fortunately, the very Pi support SPI. So it's not hard to use SPI in Raspberry Pi. SPI is master slave model. In our case, Raspberry Pi is master, 
and the gyro sensor is saved. It's used for pins, input, output, and clock. SPI can connect multiple slaves, so the last connection is for selecting with slave to use. Now, let's try to use the sensor. This is a test code for gyro sensor. We interested in, in gyro sensor. This is the value of the gyro several times and get average of the values and put the value to share. Let's try to demo. Start. The last is motor. How do we do connect motors? As we said, Raspberry Pi does not have analog output. In general, this hardware uses PWM instead of analog interface. PWM is pulse with modulation. It emulates analog voltage output. Fortunately, Raspberry Pi A Plus supports two PWMs, so we can use hardware PWMs. In our case, we use the same value for right and left, but we can use them in the, in, independently. In addition to PWM, we use motor driver by ST Micro to control the motors. Motor driver has three input and two output. In one and in two, uh, digital output of value one and zero. We use two inputs for motor to drive back and forth. We also try to use motor. <laughs> I try to drive the wheels. This is a sample program to drive the motor. The display time is in nano, uh, sorry, the delay time is in nanoseconds. When I give minute value, the 
motor turns reverse. Ah, sorry. When I give a minus value, the motor turns reverse. We also introduced JTAG debugger. JTAG is an interface to connect target, target board with PC. It's not necessary to, uh, for us just to use robot, but it's very helpful to debug, debug target machine. With JTAG, you can cross debugging program in target machine with GJB. This is a pinout of Raspberry Pi. Now, let's make balancer class calculate PWM output. Um, this is a key equation this robot uses. It's very important equation, but don't listen to the part. Uh, the power for PWM is calculated by four parameters, uh, angular velocity as omega, angle as theta, uh, velocity as v, and position as x. And lower, pa lower part is should code for this equation. The speed of robot should be in proportion to ang angle of the robot, and it is in proportion to angu angular velocity, and it is in proportion to velocity, and it is in proportion to position from initial point. When you rewrite variables names, uh, you can get real Ruby code. But unfortunately, we cannot get the position and velocity of the robot because our Raspberry Pi robot has no encoder unlike EV3. So we assume that power is in proportion to acceleration. If so, velocity is in proportion to the integral of power and position is in proportion to the double integral of power. With this assumption, we can realize the equation. In this equation, uh, we use summation instead of integral. Then, we add some code. Theta, theta i is summation of omega i, and v i is summation of power, and x i is summation of v i. In the end, we can calculate power by only one variable, omega i. Now, we can write the calculate method in balancer class. We use instance variables for our uh, op, summation, and constant k angle, and others. This is a part of code using the balancer class. It's very simple. You read the value of uh, gyro sensors and calculate PWM values, both left and right, and uh, put them into motor. That's all. Now we finished preparing our robot at all. Let's try to demo. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry again. I'll try. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, in this session, uh, we talk about two robots using MLB. Uh, making robot is sometimes a little bit hard, but also it's fun. <laughs> if you are interested in it, uh, you should try to do it too. Thank you for listening, and domo arigato. Thank you.